<laughs> Throw in a little corn and toss in a little crab and what do you get? It's a uniquely Eastern Shore twist on a big pot of cheesy, delicious goodness. And who better to demonstrate a recipe like this than our very own Jason Lee. He's the host of Outdoors Del Marva. I have been waiting so long I know. to come and make this in the kitchen. And I have been dreading it since we had our conversation how much of a mac and cheese connoisseur that you are. Oh. So, so I really had to step my game up on this right. one. Well, okay. I'm sure we're going to love it. So, so what you got there? We're going to get right into it. Okay. Um, very, very simple. This is a, a bachelor's life for me. I need simple meals and I need something that's going to fill me up and last me for a couple of days. Okay. So this is my uh, crab mac and cheese. You, you prepare your noodles just like you would normally. Sure. Okay. Water, pasta, let it go. Mm -hmm. um, once you drain it through, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna say this, uh, we're talking about healthy stuff these right. days. Yeah. If you're worried about your salt, don't put the salt in the water. Oh. Okay. I know that helps boil it quicker. Sure, right. sure. But that salt gets absorbed by the pasta. Okay. So if you're trying to eliminate salt or at least reduce it, Excellent. try to Excellent point. Thank you. Try to just wait it out. Yeah. All right. So once we've got our pasta together. Put a stick of butter in here. Now, <laughs> no, 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 no. no salt, but we're going to put a stick of butter in there. But here's the thing is that they make sticks of vegetable oil based butter okay. and other like olive oil based butter. This is what which this is. Oh. So it's a healthier alternative. Wow, okay. okay. Well, you did step your game up, didn't you? I'm trying to, but that's as far as the healthy goes. <laughs> the health starts okay? there. The health stops <laughs> there because from here on out, we're just going to get into this and we're going to start with a can of broccoli cheese soup. Yes. Okay. Alright, we're just going to dump that in. Sort of like Even that. Like a little spoon or something. Uh, that, that, I'm just going to get it on, I'm going to get it everywhere because that's right, what, yeah. part of the fun. <laughs> right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, see we got it. Okay. And then we're going to top that off with one can of milk. You got some whole milk there. A bit yeah. creamy. Right, because you know what? That's how God intended it. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So there's that. Lisa, will you stir that for I me, please? Will. Yeah, I will. I think I am done with that. that. Okay, I'll put it over here, too. Oh, Unless we got cookies good. afterwards. Mm. <laughs> All right, once that starts to mix in really well, now we're going to add our corn. Okay. This is however corn you want. It's canned corn, frozen corn. Just make sure that it's thawed out and ready to go and drained. Okay. And you just drop it right in there. Okay. And you just stir it up. Okay. This yeah. Is, this is easy. Now, I do this because I like textures in the food. Okay. Because yep. you got I'm a lot of you. soft with the macaroni right. and the cheese. If you put some natural crunch in there with the corn, yes. that helps your taste buds remain engaged in the eating process. I like the way you think. I like engaged taste buds. There you go. I didn't know that was a thing. I but it's not. <laughs> uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and put your seasoning in. In, in here, there's some uh, um, sea salt, pepper, and Old Bay seasoning. Okay. Of course, Old Bay. You don't eat you, all that? Yeah. Drop oh it right my in. goodness, it's a yeah, good thing buddy. we didn't put salt in the water. Yeah, buddy. Well, there's only a little bit of salt in there, just enough to make everything kind of pop. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. So now we're starting to get that good color. Mm hmm. And here is where delicate stirring oh. is the process because this is lump crab meat. Right. You want to try to keep it lump Don't break it as up. best you can. Okay. So I'm just going to drop that in there. So I'm just kind and of fold that in. That's right? about. I was getting ready to say, now you fold. That's all right. That's about a about a cup and a half worth of crab meat for about a half a box of pasta. Okay. Now I chose shells today because, well, I wanted to return the crab to the shells. <gasps> that they came. I know, right? A great I love big it. Circle. I know. <laughs> it's All right. the circle man. of life. And now, of course, oh my the cheese. The cheese. And if you're wondering how much, how much, as much as you possibly want, <laughs> you can do the whole thing don't, in there. Don't, there. don't say that to Lisa. <laughs> you, you won't know that you have crab or shells in there. Now, I was going to make a joke about mozzarella, but I thought that it might be too cheesy. <gasps> Ooh. You notice he didn't hand me the cheese to put in? I put in everything else, but he's... he's We're just going to drop all that. All right, okay. go ahead and get the stir in there, Lisa. Okay, I'm going to stir. Yep, and you're just going to fold that in until everything is melted. Now, you could stop right there if you wanted to, but... <laughs> We're not We're gonna. not going to do We're that. We're not going to do that. Because, as I said before, I like layers in the food. Okay. And one of the easiest layers for any food is breadcrumbs. Yes. Okay. So after this is done, we'll pour this into this pan. Okay. And then we're going to top it with breadcrumbs. 
Now, while you've been doing this, your oven is preheating to 375. Okay. And once all this is combined, your breadcrumbs are nicely layered on top, 10 minutes in the oven. Just enough to meld everything together and to brown those breadcrumbs. And we're gonna, we're gonna leave it right there. <gasps> we're gonna keep hang you on the cliffs there. Stop. Because when we come back, we're gonna take it out of the oven. We're gonna talk a little bit about Outdoors Delmarva. Oh, very good. Yeah? Good. All right. It works. Stick around. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. We are back in the Delmarva Life kitchen with Outdoor Delmarva's Jason Lee, showing us how to make his crab mac and cheese. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm surprised that you were willing to divulge the secret. I believe that everybody should be um, should share in the love that is food. You got a whole lot of love in that pan. I got. A, <laughs> well, you know, here's the thing: is that if if I want to, I, this can be a side to a meal. Okay. Or this can be a meal be in and of itself. And in a nine by nine or an eight by eight, however big the size that is, I don't do measurements. Um, <laughs> that could be four meals. Okay. That could be four lunches for me. I'm liking that. So you know that's. So, there, there might be a lot there, but again, that's a half a box. I, I don't, I don't oh, mean to cut shelves. straight to the chase yeah. here, but are you going to dish that up so I, and I can eat? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just check Let's it. do that. Tell us so, about Outdoors Del Mar. What have you been doing? Uh, we have been doing so much around the community that it's really hard to keep track some days because we are all over the place. I'm just going to make a mess. That's, okay. that's the way we do it. You know, um, we're actually uh, we're up against. This um, this small basketball tournament thing. Oh yeah, this, this this weekend. the madness that happens in March. Yeah, you the, mean? The, the tournament that shall not be named mm -hmm. for fear <laughs> that a uh, <laughs> governing body of collegiate athletes might rebuke us. Um, so this weekend we're actually doing a uh, best of, but it's a shooting special. Oh really? So, yes. So it's all about guns and targets and getting out there and enjoying. Um, the the firearms sporting life. Why do you enjoy this so much? What? Why? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. The face says <laughs> it all right there. <laughs> this you just really have a good time with this. I do. And hey. we, we love having you in in, yes. in our little department that we call local programming. Yes. By the way. Uh -huh. So have, has anybody suggested something yet that you just kind of like? Yeah, it doesn't really sound like. Uh... I think at this point. Um, we we oh can. Oh Got a kick. Got a kick. <laughs> oh. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go back. What was in this? Okay. What's kicking? That would be Hoddle Bay. I didn't tell ah! you that because <laughs> I knew that you weren't gonna get into it. Mm, actually, no. That I like that. That is nice. I like Hoddle Bay. And the yeah. crunch with the different textures. There you go. Oh my goodness. Right. My taste buds are engaged right now. <laughs> Very. Very engaged. <laughs> that's that's what you want. You want your food to be an enjoyable experience from the time that you plant it until the time that you serve it. Mm. And there's 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 nothing that that makes you feel better than serving something that people enjoy eating, especially if it has cheese in it. That might make two meals for me. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once you get going on this, it's gonna be hard to put down. Yeah, this is yeah. Like breakfast, lunch, yes, and every, dinner. Everything in moderation, though. Mm -hmm. Live that 80-20. Eat really healthy 80% of the time, and that other 20% of the time, eat what you want. This is that 20% of the time. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep working on my 20%. All right. Outdoors Del Marva, Saturday night, 7.30, WBOC. Yep. And yeah, then yeah. again on Sunday morning, Fox yeah. 21. Yep. At 11.30. 11 11 mm -hmm. Looking forward to all the stuff you got. Thank coming you guys up. for having me. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for coming in. Love having you around. All right.